I'm Barry from Syntax Technologies. You can contact me with this information. Today, we'll continue with our SQL Accounting System tutorial video. Today, I'll talk about upgrading your SQL into the latest versions. So, the first thing that you need to do is, you need to go to your SQL and check what is your current version. In the SQL, we have two series, 3 and 4. So, today's tutorial, we focus on upgrading 4 series meaning that your version is start with 4 point something. For example now, my version is 706. So what you should do is log into your company, go to file, go to backup database. What I want to do is I want to do a backup for this company into my desktop. Done. So you should repeat the same step for all the company. Let's say you have few company, you should repeat for all of them. After that, what you need to do is just go to the control panel and remove the system. But just in case, if your version is 3 point something, you should get advice from your dealer. So I just need to close my SQL, go to start control panel and go to program and features. Look for SQL accounting system over here 706. Just click uninstall. Yes, so the system will uninstall your current version, and you should get your latest versions from your dealer, which will look something like this. This is a SQL accounting system setup file for 007. Just double click the installer run it, click yes, next, I accept the agreement, next, okay, do take note over here is you should install into your previous destinations, so normally SQL should be installed direct into your C drive, it's called C drive eStream slash SQL accounting, next, so it will ask you whether you want to replace it, no problem, just click yes, then just make sure all these three destinations is CE stream, mean CE stream share, CE stream DB. Next, next, install. Okay, this should be very fast. Finish. Done. So, what you need to do just log back to the company so that. The backup file is only meant for security purpose. Just in case anything happens, you still have your backup file. So after backup and restore, or after you upgrade into a new version, normally you, what you should do is you should go to Tools, Analyze Data Integrity, just click the Start Analyze. So it's just like re-indexing your whole database. So this is how easy it is to upgrade and SQL accounting system because the version will be released quite frequently so you should learn the steps that's all for today if you have any problems or any queries or even you want to share some uh, latest information regarding SQL or GST you can drop by at my Facebook facebook.com slash syntax technologies like my Facebook and you can even go to watch my previous tutorial video over here. So that's all for today. Thank you. I'm Brian from Syntax Technologies.